Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you are doing well. This is your host Nisar. In this video, I wanted to give you a tour of my workout basement, which I am renting here in Mississauga, Canada. Before we move ahead, I would like to clarify a thing. Uh, basements are of two types uh, here in Canada. One is a normal basement and another is a workout basement. Normal ba basement is when the basement is below ground. 4 feet, 5 feet depends on the type of construction that is classified as normal basement and walkout basement is where you have entrance uh, which is on the ground level not in the underground it uh, is kind of sketchy but this uh, is this usually happens because if there is a change in elevation for the building right uh, if the front part of the building and the back part of the building has a different elevations so in order to maintain uh, the elevation the builder usually constructs the house uh, with respect to the elevation of the main road or front of the building this gives uh, you know a lot of space at the back i'll just show you in the video where you have an option to get your basement uh, at the normal entrance level this is classified as walkout basement so both uh, normal basement and walkout basements do have separate entrance or shade entrance that depends on the builder and how the building has been constructed but the advantage of owning a walkout basement is that you'll get more natural sunlight as i'll be showing you my walkout basement you'll understand what that means and also you'll have a bit of your privacy and some walkout basements like mine have access to the backyard as well so this is a semi-detached building with a walkout basement as you can see uh, these steps lead to the back side of the building this is the backyard and the upper portion uh, is at a different level so uh, you are you come down through the steps and you have your entrance at the normal ground level so this is considered as a walkout basement and if you can see you have ample amount of windows which helps you to you know get the sunlight which is usually depleted or which is usually not available in the basement so that's the reason most of people don't prefer basements that is one factor and other factor would be you know it is usually cold in the basements as they are uh, below ground this is the entrance to the unit this is a one bedroom plus den unit so once you enter into the unit you have your hall here and then onto your left you have a big window for sunlight obviously and you have uh, some bookshelf this either you can use it as a tv stand or you can convert it to whatever or however you need you also get a uh, you know closet here for hanging out the coats and all that this is this would be your hall i would say for me and my family this is okay the bigger the house, uh, the amount of responsibility and cleaning has to be, you know, taken care that is bigger of an hassle. And you have a kitchen which is uh, attached to the whole open kitchen concept as this is a basement. Uh, you get uh, the cookware and the fridge and also you get washer and dryer with the unit, nothing apart from that. And if you move on to the right, this is your primary bedroom. And then in terms of length, this is okay but i would say width wise this is around nine feet you'd comfortably comfortably fit a queen bed but if you want to get a king size bed this would be this would become small but you get an attached walk-in closet with ample amount of room so that's a plus you have some space here which you can convert or use it as a storage on our preference now if we go further down here is your private utility area this is your private utility area uh, as you can see you have your washer dryer here uh, and this door leads to the mechanical room for the hvac and all that and on to our left we have another uh, door this leads to the upper part of the house this is locked from the owners and here we have the den which I was telling about earlier. This is a 7x7 seven seven den. Uh, mostly I don't think someone would be comfortable sleeping in here as this would be cold in the winter. I would have mostly converted this to my office room. And besides this you have your washroom. This unit has only one full washroom. And if you go into the washroom you have your mirror, your normal sink wc and you get a standing shower here 
so this is a the tour of one bedroom basement one bedroom plus den basement which i am renting here in mississauga as i was saying previously basements usually tend to get cold but the advantage with the walkout basement is that usually half of the basement is above ground so that's a big plus and you get an ample amount of sunlight this uh, basement is towards north if i'm not wrong northeast so i can expect that during uh, the day i would get ample amount of sunlight which would keep the hall and the kitchen for the most part warm and later down the day you are anyway we know that temperatures tend to drop down to negative uh, in winters and during fall as well they drop down to single digits two or three degrees uh, right now it's september 20 and the temperatures are already going to 12 or 11 degrees during the night even though during the day it's 25 26 degrees so you can uh, get an idea from that so the cost of renting this basement, walkout basement in Mississauga is I am currently paying 1900 for, per month for this walkout basement. Uh, after COVID and uh, in 2022 and 2023, GTA in particular have seen a major increase in rent wise. Initially, I wanted to get a one bedroom apartment, but uh, I was getting one bedroom apartment for 24, 2500. But the SFT and the AI you're getting that was absurd. I was getting 550 or 600 SFT. That was nowhere near my requirement because I work from home two or three days a week. So I needed at least a 10 for me to work peacefully when I am working from home. So considering all that, if I wanted to get a one bedroom plus 10 apartment, it was costing me around, you know, 2600 or 2700 if I want to stay here in Mississauga itself. So I was looking for other alternatives. Luckily I found this place. So I would be paying 1900 per month plus 30% of the utilities. Utilities would, uh, you know, cover hydro, water, electricity, uh, yeah that's it so in 1900 uh wi-fi is included in the rent so that's a plus that's it for this video guys uh my motive of making this video was to just show you around the place which i am renting and then you know give you a brief difference between walkout basement and the normal basement as usual i hope this video was helpful to someone thank you very much for watching have a great day Bye bye